welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how I will be doing a t-shirt that is from my Father's Day collection that I launched about two, three weeks ago. I'm not even sure anymore what day it is today. But I will be showing you guys how I did it. This shirt is not an order. This shirt is actually going to be given to the giveaway winner. Yesterday, I did a Father's Day giveaway. And so today, I will be making the shirt for that winner. So I'm very excited. I'm not going to be showing you guys all of it in detail. Because making for me, making a shirt takes about like an hour. And that's a lot of time. I don't know. I don't think you guys are going to want to watch all of that. That's going to be very time consuming. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. So the first thing I'm going to do is, as you guys can see, it, that's what they chose. They want it in white. So I am going to press continue. Everything looks good. So now we're going to go over here. We are going to press the button. We're going to pray that everything's in place because this is a part that always scares me. And hopefully I did everything right. These gloves are not my size, as you guys can tell. I need to buy my actual size, but I can't find my size anywhere, so I'm sticking with what I have. This one's actually easy. Usually this part takes the longest, but it's actually easy today. Now we are going to weed. I was actually trying a new, normally I tried the tweezers, but I'm trying this one today and I think I am gonna stay with using this one. It's so much faster using this one than the tweezers. I don't know why I would just use the tweezers. This is how it ends up looking. We leave it for 
15 to 20 seconds. I'm going to do 15 this time. Make sure nothing comes up. You're going to Leave it there for two more seconds. And you're good to go. Pretty much what I do now is I fold the shirt. Now I must admit I'm not the best at folding. What I use are the two tags the size stickers, poly mailers, which I'm working on getting cuter ones. They actually just shipped today, so I'm so excited about that. And then we have the self seal poly bags, which I am working on getting these frosted ones. And I'm so excited. I'm still looking for them. I found some, they're kind of pricey, but I know it's gonna make the it's gonna make the whole packaging just come out really good. I am going to show you guys how I package. So the first thing I did was I folded the shirt. Now I, then I inserted the tags. So now I'm going to stick it in here. So I'm not sure if I mentioned, but I did sanitize the table before putting the shirt on here. Just wanted to point that out there. So stick that there. I always like to see how it looks on the back. I don't want it to look crazy. So once you know everything looks good, This is how it ends up looking. Now we're going to put a sticker. This is a size large. This right here is a size large. Incorporate that. So now I am going to insert this. So because this was a shirt that was won on our giveaway, this wasn't an order, so we are not going to include the order form in here because it wasn't an order. And we are going to include a thank you card. I always do that. Actually, running low. So I always include a thank you card. Just, you know, something cute. These are the other ones that I have. These are the other ones that I have, but I'm trying to get rid of these first. So I'm going to write a little note. And I'm just going to stick that in there and that should be it. 
There's no shipping label because it's getting dropped off at their house. It's they live here locally, so we don't have to. They don't have to pay for shipping, and I don't have to pay for shipping. So it works out. So let me write this letter really quick. gonna stick the thank you card in here like I said no order form so that should be everything there we go and then the last thing that I like to do is the sticker with their logo. This is actually our old logo, but I have a lot, so I'm trying to get rid of them. But we just stick it right there. So this is how it ends up looking once it is all done. Like I said, it's gonna be a drop-off delivery, so there's no shipping label. But yeah. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry that I couldn't get into too much detail, but there was so much going on. And lately when I've been using my Cricut machine, it hasn't really been, it's been acting up. So I was scared that something was gonna happen. But once it started going and I realized everything was gonna be fine, I did feel a little bit better, but I'm still very, very much new to this whole shirt making process. So I do get a little like anxious every time I have to make a shirt because I'm scared that I'm gonna like mess up or something. I'm like so happy that it went great. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys like these type of videos, let me know down below. I like making these type of videos and I'll try to get more into detail as I get comfortable doing this. So yeah, if you guys like it, you know, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video.